Yesterday, President Mnangagwa urged Zimbabweans to vote for ZANU-PF in order to protect their national identity and to always be on the lookout for those who preach about God during the daytime but cause suffering at night. On August 23rd, he urged voters to support the preservation of indigenous heritage in order to ensure the liberation struggles ethos and legacy. The head of state and government made the statement yesterday while speaking to an estimated 200-000 members of the Zion Christian Church who had gathered in Deep Dapota. Kokwi, to remember the church's founder, Bishop Samuel Mutendi. In a few days, we will hold harmonized elections where we will ask the public for another five-year mandate. There are many who desire power. Some people preach about God during the day, but at night they turn around and look for people who are suffering. When people go to bed at night, they seek the return of white imperialists. Despite the fact that they preach about the true gospel during the day. The time has come to safeguard our national independence, as well as our national legacy and heritage. Go to the polls today to defend our cultural heritage. The president urged, We are rejecting violence. We at ZANU-PF are opposed to violence. Elections must take place without incident. Before, during, and after elections, we want peace. He praised a number of CCC-led development initiatives, saying they were in line with his Nika Inovakwa Nivin Veo mantra and the Second Republic's policy of leaving no one and no place behind. I approve of the work being done by CCC. You engage in agriculture, cultivate crops and construct hospitals and schools. This is in line with what we are also doing. Because your church has a divinely appointed leader. We were able to commission a dam and a clinic while we were in Bango, Bikita, in April of this year. He praised Bishop Samuel Mutendi, the founder of ZCC, for his inspirational leadership. We are honoring a spiritual hero here, and we can learn a lot from him. The act of imitating or replicating admirable works is not wrong. You are paying tribute to your idol. As a government, we are honoring all of our heroes. President Umnangogwa said, we began in Chipinga, where we honored national hero Nobeningi Sitho, then in Mashinoland East Province with Samuel Pereranyotwa. And most recently in Mashinoland West Province with James Chikarima. He praised the church's leadership for initiating various revenue-generating initiatives. The church's initiatives, according to President Umnangogwa, were in line with God's command in the Bible that men should eat food produced by his sweat. The Israelites constructed Jerusalem on their own. No outsider will enter a country to build it, only the people of that country will do that. You shall eat the fruit of your sweat, the Lord said in Genesis 3 verse 19. Thus, we require honest and diligent work. What the government and we are pursuing are in line with what the church stands for. President Umnangogwa stated, we talk about production, production and productivity. He claimed that the enormous following the church enjoys is proof of its effective leadership. He is not the author of what he says. He has been chosen by God to be a shepherd. That is why he has such a large following, he has a genuine gospel. President Umnangogwa remarked, I have never seen such a large gathering. He pleaded with parents and guardians to enforce discipline on their kids in a firm manner. We want to raise children who will not abuse drugs. Our kids need to be disciplined, cultivated tosa, so that they are upright. We cannot depart from a nation where the populace is forcastica, he remarked. President Umnangogwa had already described his feats during the liberation fight, which led to his meeting with Bishop Samuel Mutendi in Bikita. He interspersed his remarks with verses from the Bible that he vividly interpreted, with more work to be done for the nation. Bishop Mutendi urged Zimbabwe and its leadership to remain steadfast and focused. You are not there yet, you need to be watchful because there is still much work to be done, he warned. Do not deceive yourself as a country claiming we have arrived, thinking that since we have gained independence we are now there, he urged. He pleaded with his supporters to cast ballots in the upcoming harmonized elections. Bishop Mutendi praised President Umnangogwa for his intelligence and love of his nation and people. Bishop Samuel Mutendi, according to VP Chiwenga, had a vision for freeing indigenous churches so they may reflect traditional and cultural values. President Umnangogwa stated, Baba Samuel Mutendi's objective was to liberate indigenous Christianity so that it represents our traditional and cultural values. 
to support President Umnangogwa in the upcoming harmonized elections. He asked his congregation to vote. Opa Machinguri Kashiri, Minister of Defense and Veterans Affairs, claimed that only ZANU PF represented the desires of the populace. Ministers from the government, lawmakers, and traditional leaders attended the event under the leadership of Chief Uchain Kumalo, the newly elected head of the Chief's Council, and Fortune Karambaira, his deputy.